Welcome into Casual Throw. Just wanted to do a quick video today where I talk a little bit about the Dressel Designs 5050 D bearing edition. Compare it a little bit to the uh, C bearing version that was Pat's first release uh, because I know that the D bearing version is going to be dropping on Yo Yo Expert somewhere, I think, in the near future. I just checked, it's not up yet. Uh, so just in case you're thinking about getting it and maybe you already have the C bearing version, like, oh, should I also get the D bearing? You know, is there enough difference other than the bearing itself? Uh, or if you didn't pick this up and you're thinking about getting this, you know, maybe you want a little bit more information, want to throw all that at you here. So uh, the C bearing version, the original, uh, this is the original production run, uh, 50 millimeters uh, in both diameter and the width, and hence 50-50. Uh, just under 60 grams as far as the weight goes. I think that's a pretty nice proportion there, you know, given its smaller size, a little bit less weight. It's a, it's a nice light, uh, fun little nimble yo-yo. So uh, certainly it's not built for performance and the same, you know, goes for the D bearing throw. I mean, by no means a slouch. I mean, it's a modern unresponsive metal yo-yo, but you're not going to pick this up and expect the same performance you'd get out of a modern uh, bimetal throw or something like that. But at any rate, uh, the dimensions are exactly the same here, 50-50 for the diameter and the width here, and the weight also comes in just under uh, 60 grams here as well. So, but you can see, you know, put them side by side, you look at the bearing on each, you will notice that this does have, you know, a tangible, uh, it's smaller, tangible difference there. So uh, I just wanted to highlight a few of the significant differences between these two throws and uh, there, cause there are some uh, real differences and you can just see it with, with the naked eye, the uh, finish on the original C bearing version is uh, shinier and it does translate a little bit to the feel uh, I do prefer this more matte type finish on the 5050 uh, D version. And it's just, I like it a little bit better for uh, finger grinds and things like that, as well as I do like it a little bit better aesthetically too. Just the finish, not necessarily speaking to the color or whatever, but yeah, I prefer this color uh, personally as well. Uh, one of the differences that I like that he did upgrade the spike, you can see there is something of a spike here at the uh, axle. Uh, area and uh, the, the spike on the D bearing version really isn't much if at all larger, but the big difference is that this one is sharper. So it does make uh, pull starts easier, better, things like that. So um, upgrade for the finish, the D bearing version, as well as for the spike as well, which is a little bit sharper. Obviously, you gotta talk a little bit about the bearing difference. Uh, honestly, as far as pure performance goes, uh, you know, spin time, power, all that sort of stuff. I haven't noticed a significant difference between the C and the D bearing throws. Obviously, like I said, it's not a performance oriented yo-yo to begin with. So I'm not sure you'd exactly be, you know, pushing it to the limits. Uh, but it, you know, it is a more casual, it is a more laid back, chill, whatever word you want to use, throw to begin with. So I haven't noticed a perceptible difference in terms of the pure performance side of things. A D bearing throw, I think does make a difference when it comes to binding. C bearing version, it's par for the course, you know, most C bearing throws as far as, you know, uh, reliability and tightness of the binds and things like that. Uh, and for the record, I tried a lot of the same different strings on them as I played these back to back to compare, you know, the feel, the performance, all that sort of stuff. So I, you know, Eretic came with this originally, I think some sort of bulk poly uh, came with this, but I tried these with poly nylon blends. I played these with uh, erratic full uh, polys as well and just all over the place and I found that generally it was a good binding yo-yo. I do give a slight edge in as far as tight satisfying quality binds to the D-bearing throw and that's a, a fairly common thing that I noticed with the Assassin as another good example from uh, Dressel Designs that uh, that one tended to have really good tight binds as well. So uh, again, in three key areas, I do give a slight edge to the D bearing 50, 50, uh, tighter, better binds in general. Uh, I do like the spike that is a little bit more pronounced, at least as far as the sharpness goes. And I do give it, a, 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 you know, the edge slightly in the finish as well. So overall tremendous, uh, you know, uh, 
casual sort of yo-yo. Uh, I, I really like both of them. If you were thinking about, you know, you already got this one and you want to, you know, grab the, you're thinking about grabbing the D bearing edition, I'd say it's probably worth it as a fun little case study. And, you know, oh, how much does a D bearing, you know, make a difference versus a C bearing? It's fun to play them back to back because at their core, they are the same yo-yo, but the D does give it a, a distinct nature as far as the sound, the feel, things like that go. Some intangible pieces uh, overall. So if you're thinking about getting this and you just want a pure, you know, straight up fun yo-yo that, you know, you're not gonna be worried about if, you know, it doesn't spin forever, things like that. Especially, you know, how affordable it's gonna be. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I wanna say it's gonna be somewhere in the 50 to 60 range. Totally worth it. All right, sums up what I th you know, think are some of the key differences between these two similar but distinct releases from Dressel Designs. Well done here, Patrick. A couple of really fun throws. So as always, ah, ran out of space on my device here. I was recording and had to delete some stuff to make room. But anyway, all I was going to say was appreciate you dropping by. Catch you next time.